by our team tonight. Uh, I felt good about the game coming in. I felt like we were going to play well. I told the guys that. We had a, a great practice on Sunday after the tough loss. Uh, short but very physical. And, uh, you know, some of the, obviously KJ and Rod didn't, didn't really do anything in that practice, but the other guys got a lot of good work. And, and uh, we needed that tonight. Um, you know, they, they obviously threw a bunch of different things at us, and, and uh, except for the, the bad play at the end of the first half, I thought we really played exceptionally well for 33, 34 minutes of the game. Rod was very aggressive right from the get-go. How much did that sort of rub off on his teammates? We talked about that, and that was something we wanted to try to do. We felt like he could get in the paint against their, their smaller guards and have a chance to, to do some things, and he needs to be able to do that against certain teams, certainly, and, and this was one where we felt like he could help us get off to a good start. He did. Um, you know, they, they try to do a lot of things, take KJ out, boxing one, triangle two. Um, and when those things happen, your other guys got to step up. They got to make plays. Uh, we can try to do some things as coaches to help KJ a little bit, but at the end of the day, when those when those are the, the options, those they're forcing your other guys to be playmakers. You know, Adonis made shots. Demarcus was good tonight. Uh, Landry was certainly a factor. His size and length around the rim on both ends of the court was big. Um, you know, and again, I thought our guys just just played played well. Uh, I thought we were uh, pretty confident. Uh, we had a couple breakdowns defensively during that bad stretch, um, but beyond that, I thought we were an aggressive, confident team tonight. Brad, when you, when your team's lost three in a row, how do you project that confidence into your? Uh, you know, I think you can look at we lost three in a row, but we didn't play bad. Um, you know, you can you can lose games and play well, and especially in this league. Uh, you know, you can also play poorly occasionally and win, but that doesn't happen as often uh, unless you're very talented. Uh, so, I, you know, I reminded our guys that, that we had done some good things. We, uh, you know, with nine, minutes, nine or ten minutes to go at Syracuse, we're down five with the ball and had a chance to, to make it a game to the last four minutes and just kind of let it get away from us. Um, <coughs> but had done some good things to that point. Uh, at Notre Dame, we didn't play great for a while, really, and then hung in there and found a way to have two chances to win the game uh, and end up losing in double overtime with you know a one-day prep. Uh, and then we play the top 15 team in the country, you know, basically even for most of the night without a, a good player. So we were playing pretty good basketball, so there's no reason to not to think that we're not doing things that, that we need to do, or we're not playing well, or, um, you know, that's, it's easy, fans, media, everybody on the outside, it just, you know, it's like things are going awry, and, but we're playing pretty good, and, and sometimes you're going to play well and lose, and uh, that just happens when you play in a good league, and, uh, you know, we certainly do that.